a very quick tutorial on stalling for a match. So first, you go to floor um, software, then you go to floor match LC on innovativeomics.com, and then you go to download floor match. You'll get a zip file now in your downloads folder. So if you go to your downloads folder, you'll have one um, that zip. Click extract all, and then browse to your C drive and extract it there if possible. And that will limit any kind of errors. So select and then extract. Once it's extracted, then you can go to the software, which will be in your C drive. And you can click run, all those things. But there's one more thing that you'll want to set up. Well, actually, two more things. Specifically, if you go into your manual, you want to make sure to uninstall and reinstall Java with the 64-bit version if you're not sure which version you have and the Windows offline version. You also want to sure, make sure you have enough RAM, so about, um, I would say, 32 gigabytes minimum for tiny data sets. And then if you have a stationary computer, ideally 256 gigabytes RAM or more for very large data sets, or just larger, even like 50 plus, can, be, can often take a lot of RAM depending on the length of your run, etc. So make sure you have the right dependencies. And when you install it, make sure that none of the files, you don't have any warnings of files being blocked by any of your virus protection software or fi files being removed, because that can cause issues too. Uh, the last thing you need to do when you're setting up is you're going to go into your flow, and you're going to go into the our libraries that came with it. All right, so let's look back here again. So here's our flora match. We're going to go into flow. And here's the R libraries if you go into library. Now, if you want to use the parallel computing right now, you need to do this. So you have to take all of these libraries, so let's press Control a copy, and then you want to make sure that the R version, so be careful of these directories, right? So this is the directory, once you're in, you go to flow, R4.2, library, and copy those libraries. And then you go to bin, x64, R GUI, and this is the R GUI that you're using. So here it is again. You're in flow, R4.2.1, bin x64, R GUI. And you open it up, and you want to use this function, dot libs pass, open close parentheses. That will tell you which libraries it's grabbing from. We do have in the code that it will use the second library. So if you don't see that the second library is the one that you downloaded, here you can see Floormatch 3.0, Flow R4.2.1 library, that can cause issues too, and so you, uh, you might need to change that, which we can talk about if you reach out to me. Now, this is the first library it's going to use for parallel computing, and so we want to make sure that this local library has just the packages that we're interested in. So I'm going to copy that without the quotes, Go here, paste it, and again, we're going to have to copy those libraries that we had before. Now that I used copy paste again. So here's the libraries that come with Flora Match, so you don't have to install anything. Highlight these, delete them, and then paste in the new libraries with Control V. Uh, so delete all of them and replace them. And that way, you know that you have all the libraries you need uh, to work, and you don't have to work with any installation issues for the R package. If it's still giving you errors related to parallel computing in those libraries, uh, since it initially should grab those, you can, although it will be slower, uh, go into here um, and go into the R code. And we have some options just in case there's issues to turn off parallel computing. So you can go into here 
and say, well, it's not working right now. I'm getting some errors related to for each would be one of the packages. Um, and put parallel computing to false. Still work, maybe be a little bit slower on the annotation side. 70% slower, so depending. Um, and that should be it. So that's really all you need for install. You don't have to download any packages. You don't have to do anything like that. You can just double click the bat file uh, and start it up. If you do double click the bat file and some warning or error message comes up, that means look at that carefully and that probably means you have to install something or one of the files was removed that comes with formatch, etc. Uh, so re-download the software back in the C drive, uh, or maybe you need a new version of Java. Um, look at the manual again for how to download that, maybe Netscape, whatever it may be.